Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we are here to continue our previous chapter sound. In previous video, we had discussed about sound, waves, its type and also about propagation of sound. While in this video, we are going to learn about parts as well as characteristics of a sound wave. In a transverse wave, each particle on the surface displaces itself away from the undisturbed position during vibration. The highest displacement that the particles have from undisturbed position in the rising part of the wave is called crest. Similarly, the highest displacement that the particles have in the falling part of the wave is called trough. The displacement of the particles at the crest or trough from the undisturbed position is called the amplitude of the wave. Since this is a displacement, it is measured in the unit of length that is meter. So that was all for transverse wave. Now in a longitudinal wave, there are mainly two noticeable topics, compressions and rarefactions. The reasons of high air pressure are called compressions and the reasons of low air pressure are called rarefactions. Also, in a longitudinal wave, the distance between two successive compression or rarefactions makes one wavelength. So that was all for parts of wave. Now what about their characteristics? So a sound is studied and characterized by its physical features such as wavelength, crest, and trough, amplitude, time taken, and frequency. Now what about frequency and time period? Each vibration takes a finite amount of time and this finite time period to complete one full vibration is called time period. The SI unit of time period is seconds. Now, the number of vibrations per second or the number of wavelengths passing through a point in a second is called frequency and the SI unit of frequency is Hertz. Now remember the experiment we performed in the previous video. Let us try it out again to understand more about sound waves. You will need a water glass and also a speaker. And now place it near a speaker and then also play your favorite song. Then increase the volume of a speaker to notice ripples forming on the water surface. Later move the speaker away from the water glass and observe. You can feel that when the glass is far away, the sound from the speaker is faint. As you approach the speaker, the sound gets louder. The louder the sound, the larger are the ripples. Large ripple imply that the vibration of the particles is high. So we can say that loud sounds have a larger amplitude. If A is amplitude of the wave, then loudness is proportional to a square of the amplitude. Also, the measure of how flat or shrill a sound is, is called pitch of a sound wave. The frequency of a sound wave influences its pitch. For any two sound waves, the one with higher frequency has a higher pitch. Since there are more waves in a small time span, high pitch sounds are shriller than low frequency sound. Also, loudness is the characteristic of sound due to which a loud sound can be distinguished from a faint sound. Now look at these pictures. These are different sound waves, right? Due to this difference, you can tell and differentiate different waveforms just by hearing them. Not only that, you can tell the name of instrument just by hearing the sound. Also, you can identify people just by listening to their voices. Even if all these waves have the same loudness or pitch, these waves are distinct and different due to the nature of waveform. It means that quality of sound depends on the waveform of the sound. Using these waveforms, you can differentiate the different forms of sound. Now it's time for the brain teaser. So what do you think why we got complex waveform in those pictures? So this is because the amplitude of different individual waves add or subtract when they merge together. This is called interference and you will study about this in higher classes. Now next question is that under what condition will sound waves travel as longitudinal wave? This is for you to comment it down. I will be waiting for your answer. Well, that was all for today, friends. Next part about human hearing and noise pollution will be posted soon. Till then, be updated, stay safe and thanks for watching.